If you want to check the viability of seeds, perhaps because they've passed their sell-by date or perhaps because you're not sure if you've stored them properly or not, one of the most commonly recommended and perhaps easiest ways to do this is to see if the seeds will float. The idea being that the good seeds will sink to the bottom and the seeds that may not be viable will float to the top. Let's put this test to the test. Hello again. First of all, I hope you're all keeping safe and well, and I hope all your loved ones, family and friends are all keeping safe and well also. What you're looking at here is two packs of radish seed which went out of date in 2019. I've soaked them for 30 minutes in a tub of water, most sank to the bottom, and I'm left with 39 floaters. These guys here are going to be sown in the garden later on today, and with the 39 that floated, I'm going to put them into a small plastic tupperware tub with some damp tissue on the bottom. I'm going to lay them all out on the damp tissue and I'm going to cover them then with another piece of damp tissue and these will then sit on top of the bearded dragon's vivarium and I'll come back in a few days and we'll check how they're getting on. So the seeds have been sitting on top of the vivarium for the last 48 hours and having a quick look at them you can see that quite a few have actually germinated and they're putting out quite a decent taproot. Possibly more than half of them or close to half of them have germinated. So keep in mind these are seeds which if I stuck strictly to the guidelines of the floating test I wouldn't have bothered to sow these. Now in fairness to this test everywhere that I've read about it or heard about it it's always been recommended that you sow these seeds anyhow because some seeds will just naturally float and there's absolutely no guarantee that a, a, a larger seed like the radish seed does float that it's not a viable seed. Which does make me kind of wonder what's the point of doing this test in the first place place if you're going to end up sowing the seeds anyhow. However what I want to do is just see how many of the floaters actually go on to germinate. So this is day four and of the remaining radish seed there's three or four have germinated there and if you take a look at that one with the quite well developed taproot the next clip is taken exactly 12 hours later and it will give you an idea of just how much that taproot has grown in 12 hours you can see on the left it's just broken through the sh through the shell and you can see in the right it's actually developing uh, hairs off the taproot so day 13 not so many have germinated i think the um, process is slowing down now a bit but you can see that one's got a very well developed taproot and the little side hairs are off the taproot same with this one here and that leaves me with seven radish seed that haven't germinated yet. Day 15, and I can see one at least has germinated. Day 18, and of the six left, there's two looks like they may germinate, but to be honest, the, the, the seed pod, it's the, the seed itself feels quite mushy. So I'm not sure if me handling it there has actually just peeled away the outer layer of the seed. But I'll take them, I'll remove them and, and check I'll plant them anyhow. And day 20, day 18 we were left with four, day 20 there's nothing happening with these guys at all. So I think I'm going to call it a day now. So of the 39 seeds that floated, which were potentially not viable, 35 actually germinated, which means 89.7% of the seeds I could have possibly thrown away germinated for me. And here they are. As I've been uh, removing them, I've been planting them planting them in a little tray at the back and you can see they're all doing very well. So I don't recommend this test really and to, in fairness everywhere I've read about the test they've always it's always said to plant the seeds anyhow and see what happens and I think for very good reason almost 90% of the ones I would have thrown away have all germinated. As always thanks for watching bye for now.